y'all my name is Taylor Ann and welcome to my little creative life in today's video I wanted to share <laughs> my Baker Creek seed order uh, from rareseeds.com today is the perfect day for it to arrive because it is so cold and chilly outside it's dead of winter to start thinking about all of the plants for next season and I'm so excited because I ordered a lot over a hundred seeds oh my god I cannot be trusted somebody take my bank card away from me but I thought I would share kind of some of what I got because I got some really fun stuff just keeps going <laughs> oh lord have mercy okay let's get into this massive pile of seeds and since it feels like Christmas morning <laughs> being able to go through all of these seeds I thought we would do it in front of the Christmas tree right through the start <laughs> so I got the tall double mix straw flower I see these in other gardeners yards and they look really cool um, to like preserve and to use in crafts. I got a few different types of tomatoes in this stack, mainly uh, varieties that I didn't have. A few years ago, I bought a lot of tomatoes um, and I'm still working through my seeds, but this is the Paul Robeson tomato. Got some beans, black knight runner beans. I really like the runner beans and I feel like they do well in my area. Another tomato, berries crazy, cherry tomato, mind boggling, humongous clusters, 40 to 60 fruits. That's crazy. Sweet and great for salads. And the pumpkin spice jalapeno pepper. I had to uh, replenish my pepper seed stock um, because I'm low um, and I'm getting ready to start my seeds here pretty soon I'm in zone 9b so I can start my seeds pretty much right after Christmas I actually already have a tray of tomatoes and peppers started and I realized that I don't really have that many pepper seeds left I used up a few packets and all I have are some random little seeds so I wanted to restock and rare seeds is so cool because they have like the coolest variety. Free seeds, nice. If you uh, like order uh, above a certain amount, you get a free packet of seeds. I think a free packet of seeds with every order, and then if you order enough <laughs> more, they'll send you another one. So here's our first one. Let's see if we get two. But here's another pepper, blazing hot, blunt little three and a half inch fruits, bright orange, yellow, vicious heat. Ooh, I don't know about this. I didn't buy too many hot, hot peppers. Um, I feel like jalapenos are at the top of my spice level. Um, here's another one, Sugar Rush Peach Pepper. I'm excited to try these, the Sugar Rush Peach. I don't think my phone is filming or focusing. And another pepper, here's the Tabasco Pepper. I think I've done this before, um, but these are just like the cutest little plants and I love the, the peppers. I would love to make my own hot sauce. I have enough seeds, right? This is totally a splurge and a Christmas present for myself. Also an investment in my health and my food for the year. So um, even though I did spend a lot of money, um, you know, say lovey. <laughs> seeds make me happy. So here is the loofah gourd. I'm so excited. I'm gonna try these again. I did them I think two years ago and then I didn't have much luck this last season, um, but I had enough from the previous year that I'm still having, like I'm still using my homegrown loofah. Here's another tomato. Here's another one I heard from Roots and Refuge, the Dr. Witchies, White Cheese, whatever, yellow tomato. I just heard about this um, from Roots and Refuge and I think Garden Answer. So I was like, I'm gonna try this one. The tomato, the Snowball or the White Beauty really cool slicer um i don't really have much white tomatoes so i don't know i thought that was cool these look so pretty just like a rainbow of peppers the chinese five color pepper 
I just thought it was really pretty. Oh, so cute. Nasturtiums. I've never grown nasturtiums before, so I would love to give them a try. This is the Alaska mix. Um, I just kind of picked, I just picked one. I don't know, but I'm really excited. Here's a squash, the Long Island cheese pumpkin. So cute. I really like the color. It's really pretty. Um, and it looks like a wheel of cheese, I think. Oh, so cute. And they uh, store really well. Long keeping favorite for pies. How cute. I love the packages from Rare Seeds. Um, the pictures are gorgeous. And then on the back, it has information. Okra, Alabama red okra. I'm not a huge fan of okra. I grew it, I think, my first season. Um and I couldn't really find a good way to prepare it, so I didn't grow it as much this last uh, season, last few seasons, but I thought I would give it another try, so I got some more seeds. The Alabama Red Okra. Okay, <laughs> I just kind of, I didn't need to buy this, but look at that, that's insane. Mammoth Red, what is it, Man, Mangel, Mango, <laughs> Beet. Look at that beat. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. I don't know. <laughs> Up to 40 pounds each popular as livestock feed, but can also be picked small for table use. Okay. I don't know. This is just kind of one of those <laughs> um, interesting seeds. Rare Seeds has so many cool different things. I got a few kind of like interesting varieties that I want to try out. Um, you know, not necessarily expecting the best success, but it, they are fun to try Seems out. It's really cool. Okay, more noodle beans. I've had these before, um, or I've planted these before a few seasons ago, but I ran out of seeds, so I wanted to try it again. I also got the green, oh yeah, there it is, the green long beans and the red ones. I really liked these. This is the orange spice jalapeno. I love jalapenos, and like I said, my pepper stash was greatly diminished uh, after starting my seeds last week, I don't know, a few days ago. So I'm gonna uh, have to come in and do a new tray of all my new varieties, I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, this is the orange spice jalapeno, also from New Mexico State University Breeders. Spicy, ornamental, prolific, hot, dry climates. Perfect. Pepper, the black Hungarian pepper. Ornamental and delicious. Unique black fruit shaped like jalapenos. Mildly hot and delicious flavor. I'm excited about these because like I said, they're not as hot. Um, but they are still really beautiful. The Autumn Beauty Sunflower Classic. I've got these before um, and I didn't get too many sunflowers because I collected a bunch of seeds from last season um, and I still I think had some seeds from last season but I thought I would get some uh, like interesting varieties and I love the Autumn Beauty. They're just so beautiful. The ice Cream Sunflower. So cute, right? It's a uh, like native wildflower and it said it's really good for um, pollinators. I love uh, flowers, all flowers, but especially sunflowers. So I got the queen lime red. They had a lot of different queen limes and they're all gorgeous. I couldn't decide. I just chose the red. Look at how cute she is. Um, love in a mist, midnight nigella, um, an annual flower. I've never grown this, but I think I've heard about it in Garden Answer. So I wanted to try it and it looked really pretty. The Armenian, oh, excuse you. The Armenian long, yard long cucumber. <laughs> so I've had one and I tried to save seeds from it, but um, I had no luck. So I thought I would uh, buy some seeds and actually try and grow it myself because these get huge, like over a foot long. Harvest at 15 inches long, that's crazy. And they're really good uh, for, I think, the heat of summer. Like, uh, they're a little bit more heat tolerant. So pretty seeds. The Honey Nut Squash. How cute. I love this. My puppy's name is Honey. So anything that says Honey, anything that's named Honey, I am guaranteed to purchase. And I love butternut squash uh, for eating and growing in the garden. So I had to try this out. 
so cute, right? It's a mini butternut and it's called Honey Nut. So cute. Artichoke seeds. I've uh, successfully started a few artichokes in my garden and unsuccessfully started a few more. <laughs> so I thought I would get some more seeds uh, because they're perennial in zone 9b um, and I want to have them everywhere because uh, I love artichokes to eat. Yes. And you only get like uh, one or two like decently sized artichokes per plant. Uh, so it would be cool to have more in the garden. So I got some more seeds so I can start some more artichoke. Coffee break. More tomatoes. This is the Martino's Roma. Um, yeah, just a Roma tomato can't go wrong. I need to focus more on like paste tomatoes and canning tomatoes uh, for preserving, trying to preserve and get stuff, you know, in, in the pantry. Um, but it is fun to try lots of different tomatoes like the mortgage lifter. <laughs> um, I've heard really good things about this named for paying off his mortgage. <laughs> Isn't that Cool. So this is the uh, mortgage lifter tomato and some ground cherries. Um, I've never tried ground cherries, so I thought this would be so fun. I just picked up whatever they had. This is the Aunt Molly's ground cherry. Uh, they're like sweet, but they come in these little husks and they'll fall to the ground when they're like ready to harvest and eat, which is why they're called ground cherries, I guess. Um, I don't know. They're really cute and I'm really excited to try them out because they're kind of like uh, tomatillos, which do really well in our area, but they're just like tiny. The next one is a pepper, the Jimmy Nardello Italian pepper. I'm excited. I've heard some good things about this. Thin skin frying pepper dries easily and has a rich flavor, prolific and adaptable. More beans. These are just jade bush beans getting ready for spring. So excited. Amish paste tomato, because like I said, I'm gonna try and like grow tomatoes, not just for the cool varieties, um, but actually for preserving and canning. Fennel, um, they'd have this bronze fennel, which I thought was kind of cool, um, but I've never grown fennel, so I thought I would give it a try. Swiss chard. So excited, perpetual spinach Swiss chard. So it was called perpetual spinach um, cause it tastes more like spinach, but I think it's actually, actually chard. <laughs> so I wanted to give this a try because um, it is so warm here that I haven't had as good of luck growing spinach. Um, I've only tried once, I don't know, but I, I thought I would give this a try. Pepper, the Sweet Bonnet, a sweet spin on the Scorching Caribbean Classic. So there's a small bit of heat, but much more mild than a jalapeno. It sounds really good, and these are so pretty. Okay, some regular beets <laughs> to replenish my beet stash, uh, not the mammoth ones, but these are just the bull's blood beets. I think these are pretty standard variety. They're gorgeous. They still have a huge pile to go through. Here's some more kale, the Tron Chuda? Tron Chuda kale. Portuguese kale. That's why I ordered it, ordered it because my grandma's Portuguese. So I mean, I'm Portuguese, but um, she's like, she came to visit my garden and she's like, hey girl, you're Portuguese. Where's your kale? So when I saw this, on the website, I was like, oh, gotta get my Portuguese kale in the garden for grandma. <laughs> um, and I love kale. It's really good for the chickens and in the kitchen. So uh, I thought I would pick this one up. The flavor is more like cabbage than other kales and more heat tolerant. So that's awesome. Really excited to try this one out. Seems for you, grandma. <laughs> it's the rainbow chard, five color silver beet Swiss chard. Oh, isn't it so pretty? I think I have just the yellow. I've grown the yellow before, which I have in the garden at the moment, um, but the rainbow is just so pretty. Marigolds, the Kilimanjaro white marigolds. Like I said, I wanna add more flowers to the garden this year, and I heard marigolds are really good for um, like a host 
host plant. Um, and these are just really pretty. Here's another free seed packet. Here's our second free seed packet. Um, so yeah, nice. Just a Merlot lettuce. Tomato, I heard about the Kellogg's breakfast tomato on Roots and Refuge channel. So uh, I had to try it out. Tasty heirloom, beef, steak, large fruit, and very sweet. So I'm really excited to try this one out. Ooh, tomatillo. I love tomatillos for tomatillo salsa. So I got the yellow. I think I have green in my collection already. I think I also purchased purple. So I wanted like all of the colors. Here's our eggplant. Look at how cute these little ones are. Um, I don't know. That's a, a Japanese name that I really don't understand. But... These are just so cute and it says it goes well, grows well in hot areas. Eggplants grow really well here because it's so hot. Paprika pepper. Uh, yeah, so you dry it and this is what you make like paprika powder out of. More eggplants. I've had really good success with these little eggplants and since it's like usually only me eating from the garden, uh, smaller mini sized varieties of like fruits and vegetables are usually more like personal sized single servings so I like these little eggplants and they grow really well here um here is another squash another pumpkin the flat white ah, aren't these cool they're like stacking pumpkins um perfect for pies and baking that's awesome I thought they were just decorative so pretty so I'm excited to try these out like butternuts spaghetti squash um those just grow rampant but <laughs> i haven't had as good of luck growing large pumpkins so i would love to give it a try this year here's some butternut i saved seeds from a butternut that i got from one of my friend's gardens a few years ago and i've just been like saving the seeds every year uh but i did want to kind of start fresh because I feel like squash seeds can kind of cross pollinate and I haven't noticed anything in the flavor or the fruit that I've been harvesting but I just um since I went on this seed spend spending spree I figured I would definitely use this because I love butternut squash and compare to the ones that I have been harvesting and kind of like cultivating for my area um see how they compare to these new seeds that should be an interesting experiment here is the suyo long cucumber from china i feel like i got this because i've seen like those tiktoks where they do like the the long cucumber slicing salad you know what i'm talking about uh so yeah i thought i would give these a try they look pretty good i don't know i love cucumber another pepper the poblano like i said I ordered a lot of peppers because I noticed that my pepper seeds were completely diminished. I think I have like one packet of a few jalapenos left, but I really needed to pick up some more so I can get a little variety and um, more in my stash. So this is the poblano pepper. I think these are usually like roasted, um, but they're really tasty. So some calendula, just because I've heard like all of the... Um, like benefits of it so i definitely want to grow some of it and it's just gorgeous look at that orange king calendula here is the cubanelle pepper popular pepper of cuba puerto rican and dominican cuisine oh some little pie pumpkins here what we're looking for these are the winter luxury Ooh, i'm so excited best tasting pie pumpkins around that's what i'm talking about <laughs> pineapple tomato only because it's kind of like an inside joke between my partner and i but i had to get the pineapple tomato and it's like striped and beautiful gorgeous Next is the long-standing spinach bloomsday long-standing spinach i think this is better in like hot climates um it really is kind of hard to grow greens here in the spring and summer um so i'm trying to find some heat tolerant alternatives oh, look at these beautiful little japanese white egg egg plant they look like little eggs that is so cute i think i've seen these in garden answer and she uses them for like floral arrangements so i was intrigued 
when I saw them, I was like, yes, because um, I have chickens. I love my chickens, and these remind me of their little chicken eggs. Oh. The white scallop squash. I think I have some of these seeds, actually. My bad. Um, but these are just really good. I like them for uh, like frying and cooking up in the summer. They're, they're so tasty. So picked up a packet of these and they like grow really easily. This is the blue Hubbard squash. Look at that. That thing is weird. I was like, what is that? Oh, that's funny. Great for baking pies and soups. Yum. They just looked really interesting. Bee balm, herb, I don't know, herb, flower, same thing. Uh, lemon flavored bee balm. Striking flowers, beautiful and tasty. Another packet of zinnias. I love white flowers just because they're really easy to add into like bouquets um, and they're just like more versatile. So I tried to pick up some more white zinnia. But I have a bunch of uh, zinnia seeds. So I was just kind of adding some different varieties and I like the white ones because like I said you can put them in lots of different arrangements. Not a peño pepper, kind of like a jalapeno but more of a heatless variety. Kind of cool. So kind of a not spicy pepper is perfect. Oh, I'm really excited for these. The birdhouse gourd just because I don't know they're really cool. It went a little crazy. I was like oh that's cool that's cool and usually I'll go back through my cart and edit but this time I didn't edit and that's how I ended up with over a hundred seeds. So this one is just really cute and I bought it more out of curiosity but I definitely will use them if not for decorating for birdhouses, water bottles, I don't know but had to get it. So cool. I tried to buy rutabaga seeds for the past few seasons but I must have been late every time because they're sold out um but i finally got some rutabaga seeds and i would love to try it out i don't think i've ever even eaten a rutabaga another tomato here is the bread and salt tomato i just thought it was really delicious it looks dense and good for uh slicing summer zucchini zucchini black beauty squash i love me some quick growing summer squash. Never grown Cosmos. I think I've tried to start the seeds once and was unsuccessful, so I thought I would give it another try. This is the Apricotta Cosmos, and they just look so beautiful. And they look beautiful growing in people's yards. The foliage is really pretty, so I would really, really love to successfully grow these. Some more herbs. I've uh, never grown yarrow either, so I thought I would pick up some yarrow and add that to the garden uh, for its health benefits and for its pollinator friendly benefits. So this is just really pretty. Okay, another flower. We've got the marigolds. I just did a Cracker Jack mix of marigolds because um, they were pretty. And like I said, more flowers and more pollinators in the garden. Next is more flowers, the zinnias. I love zinnias and these are so interesting. They have like a cactus kind of shape. I don't know, cactus flower kind of shape and they're pink, they're gorgeous. So really excited to try these. More fennel, this I think is more of a, um, I don't know, common fennel. Florence fennel grows like dill, used in Italian cooking, very easy to grow. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Next is some chamomile, the Zlotty Lane, Zlotty Lan chamomile. I tried to grow chamomile before and I thought it would like readily reseed year after year, but it didn't come back. So I am going to try again. And I just love chamomile, the scent of it, the flowers, everything. Next is another pepper, the California Wonder bell pepper. I've never had good luck with bell peppers, but I live in California, so I should be able to grow this right. <laughs> I'm gonna give it another try. Um, but yeah, California Wonder bell pepper. Another pepper, the habanada. So it's kind of like a habanero, but not as spicy. Um, and they're just beautiful. So I had to give it a try. I was replenishing my pepper collection anyways. So 
I was like, yeah, I'll get that one. How about that? Next is another kale, the thousand head kale. And look at that. Isn't that insane? They're huge. Mammoth. Mammoth-sized culinary variety. Leaves are smooth with curled edges sourced from King's Seed of England. Next, another pepper, Craig's Grande Jalapenos. The jalapenos that I have in my stash last year, they didn't get super big. So I was like, I'll get the grande ones and maybe I can do stuffed jalapenos. Wouldn't that be delicious? Another herb, I've never grown lemongrass before, but I heard it's really good. Um, not just for cooking, but like in the garden. Uh, so, so excited to try this out, but it's the lemongrass. Gosh, this is the sweet nut acorn squash. I love these smaller, like more personal size, single serving uh, sized squashes. And honestly, they taste better. Don't tell anyone, they taste better than butternut. They're like sweeter. Um, sweeter than pumpkins they're just like so good i love these acorn squash i haven't tried this variety so uh i'm excited to see how it compares oh i'm so excited this next one is more of like a specialty tomatillo variety and i think urban farmstead i think his name's kyle i can see him it's urban homestead urban farmstead he is from sacramento he's from my area and he grows the Molinoc, I don't know how to pronounce that, but he grows these tomatillos and raves about them. Uh, so I was really excited when I saw these on the website and had to pick them up because like I said, I love tomatillos um, and those look really cool and they're huge. So I feel like making salsa and stuff would be easier. You would just harvest like a few large ones, throw them in and you're good to go. Another pepper, the shishito pepper. These are just really good uh, for cooking. So Next, uh, just some basic cucumber, but it's kind of like a bush plant. So I'm excited. I'm not sure, is this the one that Garden Answer was talking about? The like bush cucumber that was just prolific? I hope so, cause these look really good. Next, another pepper, the Anaheim pepper only bought it because the name in Disneyland is in Anaheim. So I had to get the Anaheim pepper and I was like replenishing my pepper collection. Like I said, these look really good and they're more mild. So these beautiful beets, those are gorgeous. I don't know how to pronounce that. Chayogia Bassano. We're going to call them Bassano beets and they're just gorgeous, like candy cane, striped interior. Oh, those look amazing. The Ron Denise, Ron Denise squash. Um, and they just look really cute. They're smaller, like zucchini type of summer squash, I think. And like I said, I like the smaller, more compact, personal sized uh, vegetables because it's just me eating them. So I don't want like, a whole giant zucchini to go to waste or a giant uh, butternut squash. So having like those smaller personal size little squashes are perfect for me. Spinach variety, the giant noble. Look at those leaves, they're crazy. I love spinach for cooking. So I would really, really love to be able to grow it in my garden and just like go into the yard and pick some fresh spinach. So I'm gonna give it another go. Next is the Dazzling Blue Lacinato Kale. I love kale. And like I said, gotta have kale in the garden for grandma. <laughs> Plus I just really like to cook with it and it's good for the chickens. Again, anything <laughs> that says honey on it, I will buy it. This is the Honey Boat Delicata Squash. Um, sweetest squash varieties in existence. And they're just beautiful. So I had to get these. Oh God, she heard me say honey. She heard me say her name. These are your squash. Okay. Okay, bye. Next is the New England sugar pie pumpkins. Aren't they so cute? I think I've grown these exact seeds before um and they are so good i've made multiple pumpkin pies pumpkin bread and they store really well so i love these and i'm excited more squash 
<laughs> this is the butternut butternut I don't know how to pronounce that um, it's in Italian but it says sweet perfect for desserts roasting stuffing baking and their skin on them was just really interesting like I feel that the normal butternuts have a really smooth skin so uh, when I saw that it was really textured I was like that looks interesting and it said it's really sweet so uh, I had to try it I love butternut another squash went a little squash crazy this year but you can never have too many zucchini these are the golden zucchinis i think i also got the green black beauty i don't remember but gold zucchini to go with the green here's our purple tomato isn't that gorgeous beautiful i feel like you can make the most beautiful like salsa with these here's our green zucchini so just the basic forward hook zucchini squash these are classic they grow so well more eggplant just the classic black beauty um i've never had this in my collection i'm really excited an old favorite and you get like pretty substantial sized eggplants and the pepper classic not uh spicy more spinach, like I said, I'm really gonna try and be successful with spinach this year. The sun is coming out. I was like, there's a shadow. Oh my gosh, today is the coldest, gloomiest day and the sun is coming out. Yes. Oh, so here is Monster de Viroflé. I don't know how to pronounce that, it's in French, but they're the monster leaves. Big, smooth, deep green leaves up to 10 inches long, very fast growing plants. Some more bush beans. These are the contender, huge yields, excellent quality pods, earlier than most, perfect for markets. Perfect. <laughs> the mammoth gray striped sunflowers. Um, I love sunflowers, like I said, and these big ones. I think I've grown the Titans, maybe some mammoths, but not gray striped. I'm not sure. Foot wide heads on 10 foot plants, stately garden <laughs> plants. For sure, I would say that something that's 10 feet tall in the garden is quite stately. So I love these big massive sunflowers that you can see like from the entire neighborhood. And down to the last few seeds. This is the early fortune cucumber. Classic, I think I've grown these before. I just wanted some more seeds in my stash because these are just a classic, easy to grow, easy to pickle. Next is another pepper, Pippin's golden honey pepper. <laughs> An heirloom of the Philadelphia African American community, ornamental that changes color. Sweet pepper. That's amazing. I'm so excited for this one. Oh, honey pepper. That's so cute. Gorgeous. And they're like purple and orange. That's beautiful. Next. The Corbachi peppers, I think I've also heard about this from a YouTuber, but they're really tasty. Oh, here's a new zucchini variety I haven't tried. This is a gray zucchini. I like it. I wonder how it stacks up next to the um, like green and gold. We got green, gold, and gray zucchinis. We can do all the zucchini. This is another flower. Pacific Beauty Mix Calendula. Lovely flowers. Yellow, peach, and cream. Orange, apricot, yellow, peach, and cream. Beautiful calendula, like I said. I've heard it has really good health benefits um, if you harvest the flowers, um, but it's also good in the garden. So I'm excited to try these. They look beautiful. Next is, oh, look at those cute little baby tomatoes, the Sunrise Bumblebee tomatoes, and they're just like swirled and stripes and sweet. Next is a Kajari melon. Every time I've tried to get this, because I think Jess from Roots and Refuge mentions it, um, it's been sold out. So luckily I'm in zone nine and I can start my seeds probably like the earliest. <laughs> one of the earliest so I was able to actually pick some up this season but it's the Kajari melon so popular 
and my last my last seed packet this is it it's been an hour and this is it i can't believe it um but it's more chamomile like i said my chamomile didn't uh come back so i had to purchase some more and hopefully i can get this reestablished in my garden this one is the german chamomile that that is all the seeds that is everything that's enough there's more than enough seeds i cannot believe it now I kind of have everything at least organized into different piles and stuff. So uh, peppers, flowers, greens, tomatoes, eggplants, beets, beans, squash. Look at that giant pile of squash <laughs> seeds, okra, tomatillos, melon, artichoke, kind of herbs. I did fennel and lemongrass and then our cucumbers. So so many seeds that's crazy so if you guys want to get your hands on some of the seeds that i showed today i will have the link in the description for baker creek but it's just rareseeds.com um, and they have so much good stuff it is so much fun and it felt like christmas morning today so thank you guys so much for joining me on christmas morning while i opened up this huge haul of seeds so it makes me so excited for the upcoming season i I am going to probably start a tray of seeds under the grow lights here pretty soon. I try and wait till after Christmas, but I'll just show you what I've done already. Okay, so I already have some plants started underneath the grow light. I have a tray of tomatoes in here. In this tray, I have the Rosa Bianca eggplant and green tomatillo. This next one is peppers. So I used up pretty much all of my pepper <laughs> steeds um, doing this tray. So I just started these a few days ago, no action yet, uh, but I realized that I could do with a little bit of a seed haul to kind of replenish some of these sections um, that we're lacking, but I am so excited for the new season. I am thinking I'm gonna reorganize my seeds because I do like these totes and stuff, like it does work, but I do have one of those, sorry, it's a mess in here. I have one of those like photo organizers that I was using for photos. I thought I was gonna use for photos, but I'm thinking maybe I can put my seeds in here. So I've got some tomatoes. I was seeing how it worked. I'm not sure. Maybe, I'm thinking maybe I can organize my seeds in here. But I don't know. I kind of like this system also. And it's just divided in between warm, cool, and flowers. Just, oops, a little bit of cinnamon to kind of help with gnats. And here is a tray of greens just kind of tucked down here. We have germination. Look at this, this is the start. Look at those little green babies, happy birthday. So that is the start of our Tom Thumb lettuce, how cute. We also have salad bowl, Grand Rapids lettuce, Little John lettuce, a few rows of cilantro and a few rows of dill, but just starting to see germination on this lettuce here. That's so exciting. Oh, especially like it is the end of December. So being able to see life in green, it's just, it's just amazing. I'm so excited for the new gardening season. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching this video of this gigantic Baker Creek seed haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you're planting for the next gardening season. And until I see y'all in the next video, stay creative. Okay, bye!